as our evening prayer rises before you, O God. So may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise now and forever. Amen. Amen. Psalm 105. O give thanks to the Lord and call upon his name. Make known his deeds among the peoples. Sing to him, sing praises. And tell of all his marvellous works. Rejoice in the praise of his holy name. Let the hearts of them rejoice who seek the Lord. Seek the Lord and his strength. Seek his face continually. Remember the marvels he has done. His wonders and the judgments of his mouth. O seed of Abraham, his servant. O children of Jacob, his chosen. He is the Lord our God. His judgments are in all the earth. He has always been mindful of his covenant. The promise that he made for a thousand generations. The covenant he made with Abraham. The oath that he swore to Isaac. Which he established as a statute for Jacob. An everlasting covenant for Israel. Saying, to you I will give the land of Canaan. To be the portion of your inheritance. When they were but few in number. Of little account and sojourners in the land. Wandering from nation to nation. From one kingdom to another people. He suffered no one to do them wrong. And rebuked even kings for their sake. Saying, touch not my anointed. And do my prophets no harm. Then he called down famine over the land. And broke every staff of bread. But he had sent a man before them. Joseph, who he was sold as a slave. They shackled his feet with fetters. His neck was ringed with iron. And to all he foretold came to pass. The word of the Lord tested him. The king sent and released him. The ruler of people set him free. He appointed him lord of his household. And ruler of all he possessed. To instruct his princes as he willed. And to keep, teach his counsellors wisdom. Then Israel came into Egypt. Jacob sojourned in the land of Ham. And the Lord made his people exceedingly fruitful. He made them too many for their adversaries. Whose heart he turned so that they hated his people. And dealt craftily with his servants. Then sent he Moses his servant. And Aaron whom he had chosen. He showed his signs through their word. And his wonders in the land of Ham. He sent darkness and it grew dark. Yet they did not heed his words. He turned their waters into blood. And slew all their fish. Their land swarmed with frogs. Even in their king's chambers. He spoke the word and there came clouds of flies. Swarms of gnats within all their borders. He gave them hailstones for rain. And flames of lightning in their land. He blasted their vines and their fig trees. And shattered trees across their country. He spoke the word and the grasshoppers came. And young locusts without number. They ate every plant in their land. And devoured the fruit of their soil. He smote all the firstborn in their land. The first fruits of all their strength. Then he brought them out with silver and gold. There was not one among their tribes that stumbled. Egypt was glad at their departing. For a dread of them had fallen upon them. He spread out a cloud for a covering. And a fire to light up the night. They asked and he brought them quails. He satisfied them with the bread of heaven. He opened the rock and the waters gushed out. And ran in the dry places like a river. For he remembered his holy word. And Abraham his servant. So he brought forth his people with joy. His chosen ones with singing. He gave them the lands of the nations. And they took possession of the fruit of their toil. That they might keep his statutes. And faithfully observe his laws. Alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is taken from Exodus chapter 32, beginning at the first verse. When the people saw that Moses delayed to come down from the mountain, the people gathered around Aaron and said to him, Come, make gods for us who shall go before us. As for this Moses, the man who brought us out of the land of Egypt, we do not know what has become of him. Aaron said to them, Take off the gold rings that are on the ears of your wives, your sons and your daughters, and bring them to me. So all the people took off the gold rings from their ears and brought them to Aaron. He took the gold from them, formed it in a mould, and cast an image of a calf. And they said, These are your gods, O Israel, 
who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. When Aaron saw this, he built an altar for, for it. And Aaron made proclamation and said, Tomorrow shall be a festival to the Lord. They rose early the next day and offered burnt offerings and brought sacrifices of well-being. And the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to revel. The Lord said to Moses, Go down at once. Your people whom you brought up out of the land of Egypt have acted perversely. They have been quick to turn aside from the way that I commanded them. They have cast for themselves an image of a calf and have worshipped it and sacrificed to it and said, These are your gods, O Israel, who brought you up out of the land of Egypt. The Lord said to Moses, I have seen these people and how stiff-necked they are. Now let me alone so that my wrath may burn hot against them and I may consume them and of you I will make a great nation. But Moses implored the Lord his God and said, O Lord, why does your wrath burn hot against your people, whom you brought out of the land of Egypt, with great power and with a mighty hand? Why should the Egyptians say, It was with evil intent that he brought them to, out to kill in the, in the mountains, and to consume them from the face of the earth? Turn from your fierce wrath, change your mind, and do not bring disaster on your people. Remember Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, your servants, how you swore to them by your own self, saying to them, I will multiply your descendants like the stars of heaven, and all this land that I have promised you, I will give to your descendants, and they shall inherit it forever. And the Lord changed his mind to give out the disaster that he planned to bring on his people. Here ends the lesson. A song of God's grace. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. For you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world. That we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us for adoption as your children through Jesus Christ. According to the purpose of your will. To the praise of your glorious grace. Which you freely bestowed on us in the beloved. In you we have the redemption through the blood of Christ. The forgiveness of our sins. According to the riches of your grace. Which you have lavished upon us. You have made known to us in all wisdom and insight. The mystery of your will. According to your purpose which you set forth in Christ. As a plan for the fullness of time. To unite all things in Christ. Things in heaven and things on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The glorious grace of God is freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The second lesson is taken from Colossians chapter 3. So if you have been raised with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is, seated at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things that are above, not on earthly things, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ who is your life is revealed, then you also will be revealed with him in glory. Put to death, therefore, whatever in you is earthly. Fornication, impurity, passion, evil desire, and greed, which is idolatry. On account of these, the wrath of God is coming to you on those who are disobedient. These are the ways you also once followed when you were living that life. But now you must get rid of all such things, anger, wrath, malice, slander, and abusive language on your mouth. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have stripped off the old self with its practices and have clothed yourselves with the new self which is being renewed in knowledge according to the image of its creator. In that renewal, there is no longer Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free, but Christ is all and in all. Here ends the lesson. The responsory. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. And be not wise in your own sight. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will make straight your paths. 
Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and be not wise in your own sight. We say the Magnificat. My soul rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him. From generation to generation. He has shown strength at his arm. And has scattered the proud in their conceit. Casting down the mighty from their thrones. And lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things. And sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel. To remember his promise of mercy. The promise made to our ancestors. To Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. My spirit rejoices in you, O God. My soul proclaims your greatness. So we continue in prayer. As brothers and sisters in Christ, as children of God, let us draw near and tell God of our needs and our cares and ask for help and for blessing. We ask you, Lord, to bless and guide all who serve you, to inspire their teaching, nudge their memories, instruct them through their failures and mature them through their experiences so that in all their activity, your will may be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you to direct the people of the world towards harmony and peace. We pray for all leaders. We pray for our own parliament. We pray for mutual respect and appreciation of one another's cultures and traditions. Make us prepared to learn from one another. We offer God those refugees from across the world, seeking new life, running to escape warfare or persecution of any kind. We pray for God's blessing upon them, that they may find welcome, security and hope wherever they go. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, into our homes and places of work, so that all our friendships and business transactions, shopping and leisure times, may be opportunities for rejoicing in your love and spreading your peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our church. Praying today for the church in Congleton Deanery, for Odd Road, for Reverend Philip Atkinson. And for those who are ordained, Deacon Jane Addenbrook in Upton, and Ashley Asquith in High Lane and Low Marple. In the wider Anglican Communion, for the church in Maryland, the Right Reverend Eugene Taylor Sutton. And in Congleton Deanery, in Church Lawton, for Reverend Steve Clapham. We pray for our staff in this place, for Jamie and Harriet and Matt, Neil, Corentin and Leah. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We ask you, Lord, to ease the burdens of those bowed down by depression or grief, pain or guilt. Encourage the timid and frightened. Refresh all who are overworked or have not been able to sleep. Break down all barricades of hatred and revenge. Lord, in your mercy, hear yeah. our prayer. We ask you to welcome into your kingdom all who have died in faith. Robert Broadbelt, Nicholas Kelly, John Endo Glynn, and John Isles. We pray they may live forever in your perfect peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. 
Almighty and everlasting God, by whose spirit the whole body of the church is governed and sanctified. Hear our prayer, which we offer for all your faithful people, that in their vocation and ministry they may serve you in holiness and truth to the glory of your name. Through our Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. As our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. We say together the grace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, be with us all evermore. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.